All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So yes, it's now finally now time for another blatant boy video that I am excited for. So this is going to be a recap of the Spider-Man 3 fights with Sandman and Spider-Man in the train scene. And it is called, When Black Suit Spider-Man Slid on Sandman for Uncle Ben. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the hell of a time. So yes, Hot Squad, this is definitely a recap of Spider-Man 3. Um, I can't, it's hard to believe this came out in 2007, man. I've been watching this movie nearly, mostly, Every weekend when it first came out, you know, it was the, the finale of the Sam Raimi, you know, Spider-Man trilogy, you know, the movies I grew up with. The first one in particular being my first time being into superhero movies because I freaking love it so much. It's still one of my favorite super movies of all time. So this is going to be hilarious, you know, seeing a recap of it by Blatant Boy. So that's what we're going to do. So now I'm trying to check out so Blatant Boy's Spider-Man the recap of the Spider of Spider-Man and Sandman fighting at the train scene. So Hot Squad. Let's check it out, and I know it's going to be hilarious. It's about to go down. And now, our feature presentation. Alright, so Spider-Man copped himself some new <laughs> swag, and this shit got him acting all types of different. He went from, yes sir, like I'll have her home at 5 p.m. on the dot, to straight Chris Brown genius. Oh, no. Look at this fucking twist. <laughs> this symbiote bite was really the male version of makeup for him. Went from this shween who was insecure to busting out these mean dancers yep. in public. Gangster, so with this newfound Shoot. swag, Peter's really on the demon timing to find Sandman and make him pay for murdering his Uncle Ben. <laughs> He's still haunted by the fact that he wasn't able to grab his reboot card in time. But this <laughs> time, Eddie shows up trying to take pictures of Spider-Man, and I don't even know how he knew to come yeah. here he was camping somewhere but where the thing is is that peter doesn't rock with eddie we know this already yo spider-man throw up your stuff real quick we're gonna take this flick they're gonna have to fire that fucking loser peter parker and hire me instead after this one for show normally spider-man would have just let this happen but <laughs> peter is moving like a notorious cheater right now i'm not the same man i was two days ago <laughs> i've changed see you chum Bitch ass nigga, he <laughs> jumps down the sewer to go fuck up Sandman now. This man Eddie is tight and I get it. Peter done pressed this man at work in front of all the hoes, embarrassed him, broke his camera, Fire. got him fired, yeah. and took his bitch. Eddie was so sick of this shit, he went to church to pray that Peter Parker would die. Yes. So Sandman is walking with the bags and the lick he just hit. And Spider-Man is crawling behind him sneakily, copying Batman word for word, bar for bar. As you can see, he's already using one of the perks of being black. <laughs> Damn, nah. Damn, nah. Damn, nah. Damn, nah. Damn, nah. He turns around to see what's going on behind him and it's just like, hmm, must have been the wind or something. <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. <laughs> Sandman tries to punch Spider-Man, but he dipped out of there too quick. You gotta be quicker than that. The fuck you following me for? Remember Ben Parker? That one old nigga you blasted <laughs> on the sidewalk? Yeah, I tried to rob his ass too, but all he had was a paperclip string and some toilet paper on him with his broke ass. And now Peter knows it's time to get busy because niggas is out here talking real crazy. <laughs> he shoots his web and it misses Sandman attaching to the train. And I'm thinking, damn, Spider-Man's secret identity has clearly been revealed. <laughs> he is Stevie Wonder. That accuracy was not it. But that was all part of the plan. Kicking the shit out of Sandman, making him fly back, landing yep. on his back. I know that hurt. Yeah, I know that Spider-Man to Sandman, Bane to Batman, me to my girl. <laughs> you just love blowing out backs underground. <laughs> I was in the cave with Shrey doing her straight business. Spider-Man swoops in to violate some more, but gets kicked right in the chest. Ooh, Got my son Peter Parker bent like the less than sound. Damn. Sandman turns his hand into Russell Westbrook's jump shot, straight brick, and backhands the shit out of Spider-Man into the moving train. But Spider-Man got that new black suit on, so it must have given him the exaggerated swagger oh, of the black team. The way how he so uh, light-skinnedly flipped out the way of the moving train. But not just that. The finesse swings throughout all these pipes was clean as hell to get back to the top and flank Sandman, kicking him into the train. Yep. I wonder what all the passengers inside were thinking. Imagine you're just on your way home and you see some dude high-fiving the glass with his face out of nowhere. But this is where Spider-Man really does some evil ass Ooh, shit. This special effects, man, on this. At the end of the God game, dang. the shot clock only had two seconds on it and he's still dunking the basketball. Yeah. It's a murder. It's over. You didn't need to do all that. <laughs> you can literally see this man's teeth being ripped Sheesh. out from his mouth. The dude from Stranger Things <laughs> probably watching this like... Big deal. <laughs> Sandman falls to his knees and Peter pulls it up behind him looking like he delivering some devious back shots. Hell no. Nah. Even had this dude looking like he ready to grip the sheets. 
but he was actually just powering up because now it's time to get back. Headbutting Spider-Man, making him fly backwards, ping-ponging between the two trains. Got him stumbling <laughs> right into the right hand and knocking him back into the train again. But peep the clean recovery into the counter to now knock Sandman into the train. These two really out here boxing for their lives and then you got the train coming out of nowhere just third partying. So they start falling, delivering doses of CTE to each other, just straight headshots. Until Spider-Man lands on his back again. Yep. I already know bro's spinal cord is looking <laughs> yes. like Spongebob's finger right now that's twice now that he's gotten his back blown out in five minutes he's giving <laughs> tiana trump a run for her money spider-man punches bro through the metal and then oh, grabs boy. his head straight sunning him throwing him into the puddle of water down below and i'm not gonna lie sandman just like me for real he only worried about the bag yeah, because right. in the midst of catching the illest ass whooping i've seen in a minute he still goes to grab the bread that's on the ground but goofy must have been knocked out in science <laughs> class because everybody knows sand and water makes mud Obviously. He's cooked. <laughs> Superman has kryptonite. Batman has trauma. Iron Man got EMPs. But imagine your weakness being a refreshing glass of right. water. <laughs> Spider-Man peeps this Crazy. and goes for a swing where Sandman is able to duck out the way. <laughs> Poor guy really thought he dodged a bullet. Started thinking to himself, sheesh, I gotta have Ultra Instinct or something, right? No, nigga! <laughs> when Spider Man was going for the fat ass pipe uh. of water right behind him, showing his crazy strength, pulling the screws right out, and spraying this man down with the strongest yes. moves of all time. Giving him a shower, the shorty from my 10th grade social studies class cannot relate. Shorty must have been really invested into the lesson because she came in smelling like World War II every day. Spider-Man makes sure that he swings out the way because he got the black suit on right now, so that took away his ability to swim. And just sits there watching evilly as Sandman gets violated. That's for my uncle. Rest in peace, my nigga, Lil Benzie. <laughs> Lil Benzie. Oh, man. This makes me want to see Spider-Man 3 again. I like the movie, you know, I don't love the movie, but let me tell y'all, man, Eddie Brock, man, Eddie freaking Brock, played by Topa Grace, was one of the worst castings at any super movie ever to this day, man. He ain't lying. To this day. No shadow of a doubt. I mean, my God. I don't know what Sam Raimi was thinking about casting him as Eddie Brock Venom, but it's just, it's like, wow, dude. <laughs> That's stupid. But yeah, um, Thomas Hayden Church played Sandman very well. I love this, you know, they actually got him back in No Way Home. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, love the recap. W video, as always, Blank Boy, W video. So all squad, there you have it. That was my reaction to Blank Boy Spider-Man 3 recap of Spider-Man, Sandman fighting in the train scene. So yeah, man. That was, that was great, man. It, it's hard to believe, you know, this came out 2007. It's crazy, you know, and God knows it's almost like, what, 16 years later it came out. So this makes me want to see the Spider-Man trilogy overall again, because last time I did the recap of Spider-Man 2 with Doc Ock and Spider-Man fighting each other in the scenes whatnot, and that train scene and that in Spider-Man 2 is still legendary to this day, man. So... Damn, man, that, that was amazing. That was such a, a great recap seeing it. Sound of memories on this. Sound of memories. So, Hot Squad, go, there it goes with my reaction of Blatant Boys of Spider Man 3, um, Spider Man and Sandman fighting in the train train station. Well, not really train station, in the train scene, train tracks. So, if you enjoyed my reaction, please hit the like button, comment, share your thoughts. Do you love Spider Man 3 to this day? Do you hate Spider Man 2 to this day? What's your favorite Spider Man movie? And so on. So, Hot Squad, I have one more reaction I want to do today. So, this is going to be a trade reaction for The Continental, The World of John Wick. So, I've seen the, the teaser trailer. It looks pretty interesting, but this actually came out a week ago. So, Thankfully, I get a chance to react to it today. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for my Continental Trade reaction in a few moments and stay tuned.